Okay, let's hit the play button and uh, welcome the first two-person team here, a couple, uh, uh, husband and wife team, skills and prehab owners, uh, Anne and Magnus Sefström or Anne and Mange. And we had some off ice, uh, off offline uh, conversations about uh, used to have the name Magnus Olsson. But welcome to the uh, Swedish Junior Hockey Podcast. Thank you. This episode is brought to you by Scandlux, your home for Scandinavian luxury products for the U.S. market. You can find us at scandlux.com. So there's no Dalana dialect. Uh, let's start with a geographical lesson. And uh, let me put my note up here because I I know that you guys are in Lykkeby. Yes. Where is, so for, for those who are looking up in the World Atlas, Lykkeby, probably not a big place. No, it's uh, six kilometers out of uh, Karlskrona. Okay. And for those who don't know where Karlskrona is? <laughs> it's in South Sweden. And the south east of Sweden, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. But, you know, for those who don't know much about Sweden, Sweden is a very thin and tall country. And uh, in the south of Sweden, the how far are you from Malmö? Um, 20, 20 miles, Swedish okay. miles. 20 Swedish miles, so 200 kilometers, right? Oh, so, yeah. A little bit. So here in the U.S., <laughs> Everybody just talks about how far does it take to drive. So, three hours. Yeah, two, two and, and a half. Two and a half. half. Yeah, sounds good. Well, let, let's start to start a little bit with with your background because you have a a, a a a really nice little presence there with your your company. How long has that this company been been in existence? Three years. Three years. All right, and skills and prehab. So. Let's start a little bit about the background. Anni, you have a background on the on the preventative side or the off ice side. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, um, I um, I'm um, a certificated uh, as a off ice trainer. Yep, uh, and. Um, I work a lot with stability and uh, to uh, stability, uh, movement, mobility, um, endurance, something like that. Okay. But, um, in the first time, it's to be uh, have have a good mobility and can can have a good stability in the body. Yeah. And your background now is not necessarily hockey. No. It's uh, all uh, all sports. Okay. <laughs> but, uh in um I work a lot with uh, figure skaters. Okay. And Magnus, yeah. Your background is only hockey or where did you get started? I'm I'm get started or you younger side start from hockey. I played football and tennis and uh, every small sports, but um, most of the time and everything goes from when I was born in Morum, uh, south of Sweden, and uh, at 10, 30 minutes from Koskuna, I, I started, I live 50 minutes from, from the ice garden and everything. So mostly it is all of my life is, has been hockey playing and uh, now coaching. Yeah. So, and, and Magnus, you, you work now so you used to work in, I know you've been in different organization and you came from Olaf Ström. Let's start there because I think, so I've been in, of course, we had Joel Schinander early on as a, as a, as a um, guest and we're following him and, and, you know, he just finished up his J20 yeah. uh, season, uh, just an, a, a, a great guy. And he's hoping to make the North American Hockey League here in the U.S. And uh, exactly. I've been really, really impressed with Olaf Ström as, a, um, as an organization and how they, um, now you're having success with their J18 moved up to J18 region from Division One. Yeah. 
And J20 did that last year and stayed in J20. Of course, they have they're playing in the playoffs from Division Three to Division Two. Had a couple of when we're recording this, they they've had a couple of losses, and we'll see how they yeah. do. But but you worked with that group, um, and now you're in Kalmar. I know you got recruited over to Kalmar, and how yes. Similar organization, except for their J18 is in Division One, J20 is in Division One, but their men's team or all laget is in Hockeyettan, the third <coughs> division uh, in Sweden. So a little bit different situation there, but I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about the the, the different levels. Yeah, is it is it is a quite good uh, different levels. But uh, if we, if you start with uh, Olaf Strom, the four years we I was there and working with uh, Roger Jonsson, who was was the manager for the juniors, and we still have we have a small thing to do, and we have we took in good good guys who, who which we saw on the tri- trials to to we can make these guys to be a good hockey player in, in a small village like Olostrom, they just have a hockey and they go bananas for with practice and training and the school and training again. So they, they make, we make good, <coughs> good practice, but the kids always was in, in an ice garden to work with off ice on the summer before the practice or after the practice on ice. And that we put it in in all four years, a good quality, make it good. And, and in the last two years, we get some help from my wife, Annie, too, with office and uh, some, some guys to work on it. So. Well, and, I, and I've seen I've seen some incredible facilities in a small town there. I know where you will. He's pretty active on Instagram and post yeah. his workouts. And it looks like a phenomenal gym wherever he yeah. is, he is. And then. The, the the ice rink looks like a really nice ice rink too. Yeah, it's really nice to be there. And when I when I come when when you Roger and the club took me from Koskona to Olostrom, we we have a guy who who, who was name was Lucas Frank, uh, and he he, may, he 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 played from the juniors up to the seniors in the first two years, junior eighteen, junior twenty, and eighteen. He plays lots of games and everything. But he has one hour on Wednesday morning left from school, and he come to me first year and ask, "Can we can we make a practice on morning 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 practice?" Sure, we can. I, I, I'm uh, I'm here, so we can do it. And and from that, everyone every year we have two to ten guys coming on the morning to practice skills, and everything starts with that. And first day and fuse day, I got the team from the senior on the morning practice, so. They had three times more practice by itself to make the skills and everything to be better. So it, it was a success. And I think it, some of that is, it's the same in, Kal- in Kalmar today. We work with yeah. the same guys and the juniors. That's uh, Lucas' sister place in uh, Brinas, I think, right? Yeah, exactly. Fall shipping. Fall shipping. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And I think he's in Grastorp now. A uh, good mm-hmm. friend of mine. Um, yes, is, is in in Grastorp. And I, <coughs> so, how was that? Um, and and now, so you left that program. I'm sure you had a really good relationship there with Roger. Absolutely, he's a fantastic uh, coach and fantastic leader to uh, take out everything for the guys. And he learned me uh, lots of things he took from. Uh, 10 years in Oscar Sam, like a club manager. And so he is really, really good uh, coach and, and leader for the team and everyone for the club too. And I'm sure. Are you, so are you in, in the similar role that you were in Olof Ström in Kalmar now? Yeah. Just now I'm in a similar role uh, as I had in, in, in uh, Olof Ström. I make the same work and everything in the club, but uh, to next year, they want me to, to be a leader from a junior, but it's not official yet. But they, uh, I do it now here, but they won't <laughs> take over now for uh, the, the coach who has it now. He's going to be a dad and he don't, he's going to break for, take a break from hockey and everything. Yeah. 
Breaking so news! See. Breaking but news! They, first they, on 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 the Swedish Junior Hockey Podcast. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll take a few weeks for this to be released, so it, it, it'll be already <laughs> already out in the. Public. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I might have I have a good and good uh, boardman, uh, Camilla. He is uh, really good at it, so he listened. He come to listen to it. I send a message, and uh, I will be. We will be in interview at his uh, podcast. Yeah, but you have a pretty good drive from Kalmar to from from Lykkeby to Kalmar. Yeah, it's it's uh, eight point one mile Swedish <laughs> yeah. miles. It takes me an hour. Takes you an hour, and and Anni, you're yeah. you're working mainly there in Karlskrona. Yes, and um, some other where <laughs> too. Yeah, I work in uh, Marum. Uh, it's about forty five minutes from. Krona, and uh, I work in Kalmar too uh, with the camps. Yeah. And, the camps, yeah. And I just think it's a little bit like you got these pockets of geographical. I mean, Karlskrona is a pretty good size city. Um, yeah. And had, were, were they up in SHL there for a little bit? And then, yeah. they, had, then they had some financial difficulties and, and they've dropped down. Um uh, and uh, is Mito Solar still there? He's, he's still there. <laughs> yeah, he's yep. a pole vaulter, and I listen to him on on uh, Sport Tuset as a commentary, and and yeah, it's great. And then then you've got Oscar Sham, you got Kalmar, you you got these middle size. They're not small towns like Leksand, but they're nice little. Uh, I guess Vestervik that goes a little bit further up, but. What is it about these towns? They're not like Stockholm, Gothenburg, Malmö, but sports is pretty important, and you know, athletics is a, is is seems like it's a very, you know, with whether it's soccer or tennis or track and field or hockey. Was it? What is it about these small towns that makes sports so important? If I can, if I start, I I would say it's more like a culture. It's a small, small or big town, but the people know they go for hockey or uh, yeah, we talk about hockey. You now we go for see the game, good games, and the guys who's come to the team, senior teams or the juniors, they comes for play good hockey. Uh, I can see often you see, I mean, if you see Olstrom, they, they have good leaders around the team, like the junior teams and Roger. And in Kalma, they have me and we have a lot of good leaders around uh, juniors. We have a good team now in, in senior, Victor Turala, as a coach for a uh, senior team. Uh, Oliver Steve has been playing in Kalma for a long time. He's assistant coach. So they know, I think, the culture and they take care of our players. And, and and what about the hockey gymnasiums there? Because they're considered LIUs, right? Yeah. Uh, so not NIUs. Where's the nearest big NIU, NEU uh, gymnasium? Koskaruna. Koskaruna is NIU. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so, no. and, 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 but they're still, and I know. Let's see. They are. are they're not playing in J twenty national. No, they fall down last year. Oh, they fell down. Okay, because I think that they, they are. They 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 they, they had the junior twenty in Koskuna. They make the playoffs about Koskuga this weekend. Uh, so they, but the Koskuga won uh, two by one. Yeah. So, no, it, it's. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. So they are and the same thing. Carl Skulga is also a, a J20 uh, or an NIU program, a little bit smaller than if you yeah. compare to Frölunda, Hove exactly. Örebro, Leksand. Exactly. But and here's my next point, and that is, you know, the type of players that are coming, and this is where I want to segue into kind of what do you see both on ice and off ice, you know. The players that came to Olofström are not the players that are going to go to HV71 or 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 uh, um, uh, Växjö or Malmö or Frölunda. No, they they're not the players. But I think lot, lots of guys 
game, they have no no place in in that big big um, club and big team, but they have a level under. And I, I as we talked, Roger and me, we took some guys from a Malmo. They could go from Malmo to Ostrom because they they seen they can go, makes a good practice uh, against on on the morning practice. They can go get some more practice by yourself one hour on. Wednesday morning we have here in I have it in Cos in Kalma too now, so we can get more time on ice by myself and we get for new. Yeah. So what do you see uh, that are good things? And Anni, I'd like to get your opinion too. Where we in terms of how do you build a, a really good program at the age when you get a 16 year old that are coming in from wherever? Do you see? What what are the good things that you see, and what are some of the problems that you see on and off the ice? Um, With that age group, yes, I always look at them um, and uh, do a program, a physical program, um, that it fits just for that guy, uh, and it can be um, a lot of things because. Uh, um, his body doesn't need the same thing. Okay. So, so they play in the same team. Uh, so um, the one who came to me, um, maybe he needs to develop more mobility or more endurance. And to, so, uh, so what, and, and I forgot to ask this early on. So what is prehab? Prehab. In your name, right? <laughs> you, you work with physical training uh, because you're not going to be injured. Okay. So it's preventative work. But there's also built into that is not just injury prevention. No, exactly. Uh, we, we work with... Um, so you can um, do the things you are doing in your sport. And if we then, so I'm going to challenge listeners here to go to your Instagram. Uh, so if you go to skills and prehab um, on on your Instagram, what's fairly uh, skills o o prehab is is the uh, is the um, uh, name of it. But what's pretty evident really quickly is. So I wrote down some 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 words here, and I think that they translate both off ice and on ice. Mobility, movement. And there's n- nothing of this that is listed on your on your site, but this is what came to my mind here: mobility, movement, waist, weight distribution, balance, explosivity, drive, stride, edge work. Those were the words that I. Some of those are more towards the the the. the the exercises or the things that you're posting that you're working with, uh, Jakob Steffling as an example on your on your um, I had to get a ex Lexan player on there. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> just it's just nice. a Lexan Lexan moment. Uh, but he's he's on here and and some of the things that you're working on. But the same things, so mobility, movement, balance, explosivity. A lot of hip, uh, a lot of hip work, uh, a lot of uh, ankle work. How do they translate off ice to on ice? <laughs> um, yeah, we um, we work with a lot of mobility because it's important for a hockey player, and uh, you need to have good mobility in your body because uh, if you don't, uh, you can uh, get uh, Hurt um, more uh, than if you have good mobility. And where do you see the injuries coming? Which body parts? <laughs> uh, it can be uh, uh, all over. <laughs> yeah. Because, because um, uh, you are not uh, you are not alone on the ice. You have uh, other players. Uh, so you must stand up for, and um, you you need to have that strength, uh, the balance, the the stability, and uh, mobility in the body, because you are going to 
to to save yourself from the outside. Yeah. And and what and how do you then so so what are the problems that you're seeing? Do you see a lot of people come in that they may have focused on the wrong things and they've been putting too much load, too much um too much um focus on the big muscle groups? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the biggest problem I see in um, unions uh, outside the clubs um, is that they uh, train of ice totally wrong uh, from the beginning. They train a lot of strength, um, uh, much um, weight, uh, to the body so you can get hurt in your knees um your back and you're not grown up yet yeah so you must uh, work with more stability and mobility with these young people uh, because then you can um put on some weights and and train harder but yeah. do you see that there's still a lot of kind of old school, new school thinking in that area? Yeah, yeah, very old school. <laughs> Every everyone do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, they are running, they are uh, jumping, um, run fast, um, and you uh, you turn on and uh, something like that. And are you not trained? and have the stability in your knees and the back so you can't you can't do this because it's it's too much injuries yeah <laughs> and i see a problem with that too and mm -hmm. and and you know from from coaching kids is a lot of times you know it's all on you right so you've got now a whole team of players and sometimes in in sweden you may have two teams that you're responsible for at in in juniors and you know it's it's you'd like to be able to design a program that is more individual but there's i don't have the staff to be able to do it uh no that that's that's how it is yeah and especially so you know all right so let's talk about where where you came from in Olofström and now in Kalmar you don't have a big staff but no, but I have more. We, <laughs> I have more stuff around me in Kalma and what Roger and I have in Olostrom. We was alone in Olostrom. <laughs> in, in Kalma, I have stuff around for a skating problem and a helmet problem and uh, like a screw to screw in and get the, uh, everything for for the kids. <laughs> and uh, we got for a senior team. We have a physical coach. Uh, to, to the senior team, and but from juniors, I I have a physical coach, train them too, uh, like we I, I did have, but I have some other leaders around that do that work. I did in Olsen too, so it's it's much better here, <clears throat> and uh, I can make take the time and put the time at the guys. Yeah, so when you're and and I know that you run some camps together too. So what do you typically then uh, then focus on? Is is trying to incorporate? Is that more from an education standpoint? I mean, you got the kids for a week, so are you trying to open up their eyes towards a different way of incorporating on ice and off ice? Yeah, um, that we do is. Um... Uh, often it seems like we have a three or four days camp and um, they are going to have three ice uh, a day and um, I used to have two off ice. Yeah. And the uh, off ice can be um, uh, a lot of mobility to, to, to uh, let them learn uh, how they are going to do what is important and when you yeah. say mobility describe what are the things that you typically do do you do a lot of work with the bands and 
and stretching or how do you typically work? We work with uh, dynamical uh, mobility. So um, uh, we work a lot with hips to open the hips. Okay. Um, and uh, they they are going to feel what it's um, how it feels when you you uh, try to open your hips. Why is that so important? Uh, to have a good mobility in the hips. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if you see a hockey player, uh, they work a lot with the hips all the time. We turn around or um, something like that. And if you don't can open your hips when you turn around, um, you can be injured. Magnus, how, do, how does that translate into power mm -hmm. and explosive when you have movement and mobility in your hips? How does that also uh, translate into power and explosive explosive strides? Oh, I don't know really if it works, but I, I always say intensity when you can move it from one side. Uh, you you have a uh, weight transfer, quick weight transfer, the big ones or small ones, but you get always still have a power from turn from from forwards from forward skating to backwards and from skating backwards to forwards, you make it just a small turn, and you still have a power to make a difference weight. Yeah, but I, I I can say I don't I'm not so really good at the words and everything, but uh, I would say the intensity before you go and make it. Yeah. Um. So what? Let's say you now have a 16, 17, or you have a J18 kid come into the organization and and you see that they have problems in those areas. Yeah. They they have limitations in those. They have a good mind for the game. <laughs> Um, uh, good size, good hands, good shot, but they have poor mobility. Yeah. What do you do? Is it too late? No, no. <laughs> no. it's never too late. <laughs> so I'm 48 here, so I'm sitting here with. No, with, it's never with, too late. It, it's not too late. <laughs> no, it, it that is it. When, when if I can start, I, I when I see the guys coming out on ice, I can see exactly by the. Uh, I have worked with. With a good mentor from South Sweden in Kufanstan, Dog Wenstrom, who owns the Sweet Tech. Yep. And I guess I, I was by myself a good skater when I was young and up to junior time and everything. But when I see the guys coming, mostly the hips is stiff. It takes times when he turns, they they don't have a balance to turn from one foot to other foot, or they turns with big with both feet, they get no balance and everything that. But every 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 guy I I working with and see I can say that it's no problem. It takes time, but it's still working. We can work with it, and you can be smoothy. But you have to work with this <laughs> these moments, this mobility and everything off ice too to make it good. So Off. now you have the balance here between. So in a small organization, maybe not in Kalmar where you have J. 20 division one to hockey etan the same players don't it the gap is too big to to to, to go but you have probably some that are playing j18 and j20 together and moving up yep. and down with overagers and 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 uh, underagers that get a chance to play up absolutely absolutely so you have lots of ice time available but now they're playing too many games right so they're they're playing more games than they are coming to the skill sessions, right? Yeah. So which ones are the most important? Because you're not going to be able to work on these things during the team practices in the evenings or when you're having games, right? How do you Some, balance? Sometimes how do you balance? I do. How do you do? Yeah. 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 How do you how do you balance the you know, if you have an, uh, uh, if, if a player is at this level and they need to get to this level, meaning they're, they, they have a deficit and they need to improve that over a 12 month period. How do you, when do you work on that? And how do you work on that? 
in, in uh, if I go for a Kalman no, or where's my my work and everything. So we have it, it, I, I see the guys three times we working with uh, this, the teammates and until team skills and everything, power uh, skating two by one and three by two and everything. But on, on first first days we have working with just skills from on a team place. Just skills to make these guys to be better, to get smoothy, get balance and get the technique with the hands and the puck too together. Uh, and uh, and they have always have it on morning practice two times at the, at the school so they get the, the same time now three times at the team three times at the skill so for, for me here now it's not much more better and sometimes they go out on on, on the wednesday and friday when i take the senior they come to and asking can i go when i sure you can says so they, they have the same time okay yeah. and what about i, I want I want to see the guys to make the things. If they make the things, can make the things here by the, by 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 own by own. You can make it at the team too. And I know I think Roger is the one that he also incorporated video in his. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how yeah. he's doing it, but he's I think good he, at that. He, he he he's the one who does the video. Do, are you incorporating that as well? Uh, not so much yet, but uh, I will. <laughs> and uh, Roger do it a uh, little bit more because he, he I don't have so much of uh, social Instagram and uh, Facebook. I just have Link. And he is uh, standing for the social at home here. So Roger is more at that. At that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he put it out and uh, filming the practice uh, live for Facebook and everything. So. It is better of that, but I, I see if I can be better at <laughs> the challenge, right? You need yeah. you need to find you need to find a good intern uh, at the <laughs> at the hockey gymnasium that maybe isn't interested in skating and but but really good good with video. Yeah, yeah, video uh, tape all all his practices. Yeah, Anni, what about you from a standpoint of you're not working directly with their hockey gymnasium, but but okay, you're, they have three on ice practices. Uh, for for team and they have three skills on ice practices per week. How do you incorporate if if you had pixie dust here and you have the magic wand and you're going to design? How do you design the off ice program around that? I would like uh, for for juniors um, if they can. I think they should have three times a week, least in season, to have off ice. Um, but um, often it's it's no uh, not so much time over. Yeah. Um, I think um, uh, they need to work harder from after season to four season with office. Yeah. So uh, don't don't worry necessary. about don't worry about being on the ice as much in the off season. So so right now we're in yeah. in end of March here and and I guess season starts up around September but you got five months what what should they be focusing on and when this airs it'll be in April but what should they be focusing on now and runs mobility yeah how and, often? Uh, how, how many times a week thing. what would you how would you design it now would you do five days a week twice a day what would you how would you do um, the program for him? Uh, it's such uh, because of their age. But if you are from 18 to 20, uh, I think they can have a program who is uh, six days a week um, with pra- uh, two practices a day, a day, one morning and one evening. And one of that, uh, I think, end runs should be available. And when you say end runs, what do you mean? I mean, they, they need to um, uh, work up uh, the, the oxygen. Okay, so car- car- cardio-based. Uh, cardio, exactly. Yeah, endurance, cardio, 
not just yeah. mobility, not just explosiveness, but also no. their 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 overall body. Yeah. So, so how- they, um, um, they can uh, play a whole uh, match. Yeah, a whole are. game. Yeah. And and I guess with this comes the mental part or the commitment part, right? Yeah. You mentioned um, uh, 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 Lucas, yeah, who had what it took to want to be out there, and 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 what happened was was I thought was a pretty interesting thing. Is he came, and then all of a sudden, what happened? I don't really know what the coaches did where we took him from uh, for an excellent work from Olustrom. But we have worked with him and he, they took him to Coscona. And uh, I think it was a stupid coach in Coscona. Yes. No, yes. But, but but go back to when he came to the practice, when he started coming to the skills. Uh, oh. Yeah. And, and all of a sudden, more people started coming. Yeah. But it takes that one guy, right, that says, I want that, to do more. Yeah. it's It takes the one guy or... Me as a coach, if I, I can ask them, hey, guys, do you have – I can see some guys just going around in the morning and not doing anything. Yeah. I see, what, what what time you start in school? 10. <laughs> some, sometimes, guys, okay, we want to practice. We do. We have time. We can go for ice. It's the same in, in Kalmar. We have an opportunity to, to make that. So on Wednesday, I have one goalie, junior 18 goalie, who asking, can I go for a practice? We will send you guys. Absolutely. If you now have school time. No, I don't start for 12 o'clock, I said. So I'm free. And some of the guys coming. So they asking. And I said, I, I don't. I never go and say no for a guy who wants practice. It would be better. But why isn't everybody out there? Because they are lazy. <laughs> That's what I'm getting to. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's. It's a, it's a it's a right thing to some of guys it's lazy some of guys don't really have a, what we say they don't want to be better and they they are the point is but I think that because you can have the the best program out there and and you can have all the ice time available but let's yeah. face it you got kids that are moving away from home they're there at school. Yeah. They may stay up a little too late at night. And then, you know, you got getting on the ice at 10 o'clock to work, work on your craft. Yeah. You may not even have pucks out there. I mean, that's no fun. Right? It's really fun. Sometimes it's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll be better. Every day you go to an ice or an off ice, you'll be better. And, and the same thing with, with the off ice going into the gym and, and, and getting super tired. I mean, the, the kind of guy that needs to that 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 puts in that work is the motivated, committed one. And but I think that there's a if you can find those one, two, three guys that are the leaders that are putting in the work, then you know um, what do they say? All tides rises the shifts uh, the ships. Yeah. You know, if you can if you can get those guys to come you have the next the follower group then you got the ones that you know won't come and they're probably not going to improve either uh, either they may have the talent but but they'll be outrun by the ones that are working i think us Shinander is a, is a great example of a late starter he's a, he a really great starter and, and uh, the, the background about you is so interesting to see if you want to do something and will you can make it yeah. start you start, I think it starts when it was 13 or 14 years, sold the motocross and, uh, and get some hockey stuff and start training in Oscar Sun. And he comes to us when he was 15 for uh, see if we can make a good tryout. And uh, you can see what he is today. Yeah. Well, he, he went from Division One, one point per game, to this year in J20 region, more yeah. than one point per game. Yeah. And, and you know, it's not just for show. I mean, he 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 posts his stuff to be able to be get noticed, uh, but it's not braggadocious. It's 
I want to show that I'm putting in the work and I am putting in the work. Yeah, it's it's it is is get the chance to get over for uh if I don't I don't think it was Boston he go for. Well he went over last year for a for a EHL um um skate and and he's going over I believe in, in April here and for Yeah, for, I know, but but go for the first time last year and the coach said I we want you. You can yes. come it's excellent. It's excellent for a guy who played hockey for uh, three or four years just. But if yeah. you have it, you want it, you do it, you make it. Yeah. Now, I think that that's the, 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 what it takes and, and, and works extremely hard and in the right environment that also have opportunities. Yeah. So uh, kind of wrapping things up here, where do you – you know, you've been around, uh, both of you have been around in, in, in this, where do you see it going with juniors? You know, uh, you got these organizations that aren't necessarily playing it in the same, it's not even playing fields, but don't you see, don't you think that it's these smaller town and these local, um, hockey gymnasiums, uh, there's still opportunity to grow good hockey players in these, in these markets. Absolutely, and in, uh, in in Kalmar, we can see you now we have a Kalmar International School who's standing for the school part and, and for the class and everything. And they want to be better. They have a knee at golf. They want to be better at the hockey. They want to be better at everything. And we put it in some of other schools too, so we can be bigger at the school program and. Solely that going to be better for other guys who come in for trials to see what we're doing in Kalma. We can make good players to go to grow and coming up more and more for senior players and be ready for go out for the senior players for the young kids and everything. And but they comes for make a good education, yeah, at the school and on ice off ice. And and the and the goal I'm I'm sure is to to do the same thing as what Olaf Strom has done, and then that is bring up the J18 into the region south and J20 into region yeah. south. That's a that's a goal. That's a goal. Yeah. Well, it starts with the off season here, getting uh, getting the recruits right. I mentioned this before. Um, uh, we call it the 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 bump, the junior high Swedish junior hockey bump. Now you're going to get noticed here. Uh, skills and prehab is 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 uh, getting a little bump here, and uh, yeah. and we appreciate it. One last question to both of you, uh, and, yeah. and I haven't asked it in a while. You've been around for a little bit now, but but what do you wish going back when you were the age of the kids that are coming in? Uh, uh, you're younger than I am, but but uh, you, you you when when you have that 17 year old that is that is coming in and and you have the experience now that you didn't have when you were 17. What did you wish that you would have told yourself at 17 uh, that you that you wish you would have known uh, that you know now? Oh, uh, if if I can start, so I I will I should will have more uh, conditioner, better conditioner, better conditioning. Yeah, my heart will work harder. What I know you, what I know now, what I didn't have when I played for for the seventeen. All right, so, Ami, you you close us out. What 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 advice would you give to yourself set at seventeen? Uh, uh, work more with of ice. Yeah. It's it's excellent advice. Uh, I think it goes back to uh, don't sit around, but put the work in because yeah. it pays off in the long run. Um, especially today, you you and I didn't have the Xbox and the YouTube and and Netflix <laughs> out there and the and the competing oh. interest, but <clears throat> but it's not going to come on its own. You have to put in the work. So exactly. Thank you for coming on the podcast i really appreciate taking the time on a monday here and uh and we'll release this and uh if they want to get to lastly here if they want to find you what's the best way to find you and get in touch with you if they want to 
if they want to come to Kalamata or if they want to become a client with skills in prehab? You um, can, you can start. <laughs> with uh, Instagram or LinkedIn. Um, also with our email. Uh, but if they want to uh, get in touch with uh, Mange and yeah. come to Kalmar, uh, they are going to turn to their club. Okay. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And and on Instagram, it's skills o prehab. Yes. And and on uh, on LinkedIn, you have it's skills and prehab uh, as a separate uh, as a separate um, uh, page as well. There, so it's not an individual page, which is which is a great way to to um, to find you. So thanks again. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Excellent.